It's done gone jo kaya de ga ga. It's done gone jo kaya de ga ga. I think we have a few students. Can y'all hear me? Okay. I think we have a new few students. So just in case, we're going to go back over a few things if that's okay with the ones that's been on it before. Um, so that way I won't leave them behind. But I don't want to also um, take y'all back. But still, yet yeah, this is what y'all can use. Okay. So this is what I'm going to go over a little bit with the ones that the most important things anyway, just for them. Right, you can never miss this opportunity because basics is the most important thing on this. And so we're gonna go back over, hey, Legaba, I just got a student walking, Legaba. Uh, we're gonna go back over uh, sounds because like I told you, language is sounds and you can never um, get enough of it. I'm still on it now. I still have to look at sounds myself now. Okay. Ah, remember it's ah, long, ah, she, it, e, b, he, a. This is confusing to people right here. I, they look at it as e, but it's it's a in the language. He, li, me, ni, oh. And remember now, you can't pronounce O. Oh. You can't say O oh, like we do in English. It's got to be O. Oh. Put some attitude in it. O. Oh. O. Oh. And this is another one. B. A P has a B sound. Now, this is another one that people have trouble with. C. C. Your tongue is on top of your front teeth. C. And when you see that, you know, all this time we've been looking at it different. But like I said, forget English. Okay. Forget English. C, D, U, A, W, Y. Okay. You know, this is kind of English sounding. <coughs> but my mother, when she first heard this, you know, they didn't teach them sounds. She just knew how to speak, but she knew how to read. She knew how to read and how she did that, I don't know, without sounds. Because I had to have sounds in order to read. She would say, She said, this is a real one. That's how she taught me. Can you tell the difference? And that's how she taught me. And I was like, and she said, this is the real way. You know, and I'm like, okay. But, you know, I, I was saying it to her like this. And she said, yet uh, mahi means like the real thing. So she went and did that for me. And, you know, and I don't know how, you know, she'd say, ah, ji, e, fi, he. And it, it sounded more like a sing song, but she said that was the real way. And I didn't, you know, I haven't talked that because it's easier like this, but when you look at it like that, oh, chola, here, chola, oh, chola. And she'd say, wait. And they said, Wasco, hear it, Wasco. And maybe it is the real way, but you know, uh, for learners, it's teaching it like this, you know, which they can still get it. But you know, that's how she told me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. But that's how she showed me, you know, but she could read and she never knew sound, but she could read, she could read. Okay. Um, we're gonna do the sounds here. Okay, two and three letter sounds. And for you new ones, when you put G and A together, 
You get cha. Cha, hear it? Cha. You don't actually hear the G, but what I want y'all to do for your new ones, remember where your tongue is. Because the, the Creek language, the Muscogee language is real prominent in the mouth. It's real prominent. You got to know where your teeth is, where your tongue is, especially your tongue, where it's at, how you breathe, uh, put air in your cheeks and everything. That counts a lot. So it's like jaw, G, J, Jo, Ju, Ja. And every one of these sounds makes a uh, Muscogee word. It's part of the language, and that's why it sounds. You know, everybody says, well, it's a, it's a spoken language. It is, but it's done in sounds, okay? It's done in sounds. When you put it together, you'll get, you can actually, if you, um, at one time I told my class in person, see how many words you can find in these sounds. Go through your dictionary and they're all, every word that you speak is in these sounds. That's how come the language is sounds. So we go, ja, chi, je, jo, ju, ja, fa, fi, fe, bo, fu, fa. Right here, like ju and fi, you put those two sounds together, ju, fi, that's a rabbit. That's a rabbit, okay? So if it just in these two lines, I found words, okay? So uh, fo, right here. See this fi, o, fo, that's a b. Just those two sounds right here is a b. Um, so let me see. If you put fi and ki together, you get figi, which is a heart. See how these sounds are making the language? And that's why I stress sounds all the time because it is sound. So here we go. We're going to start with fa, fi, fe, fu, fu, fa. Ga, gi, ge, go, gu, ga. Ha, he, he, ho, hu, ha. La, li, le, lo, lu, la. Ma, mi, me, mo, mu, ma. Na. Ne, ne, no, nu, na, ba, bi, be, bo, bu, ba, da, di, de, do, du, da. Just in this line right here, I found da, so, da, so, that's a fish. Da, so, that's a fish. Sa, si, se, so, su, sa. Da, di, de, do, do, da. Wa, we, we, wo, wu, wa. Ya, yi, ye, yo. You, ya. Af, if, if, of, uf, of. Ak, ik, ik, ok, uk, ak. You know, you, these sounds really weird to me. But when you... You hear them in a word. You hear them in a word. And that's, you know, it sounds weird, but they're in there. Al, il, el, ol, ul, ali. Am, im, aim, om, u, um. An, in, aim, on, u, um. Ab, ib, el, ob, u, of. As, is, es, os, us, us. At, it, et, ot, ut, et. Okay, now we're going to see that when you're putting three sounds together, you get a little different sound, like sock. Hear it? Because right here, you had sock. You had sock. But then when you put the key to it, you got sock, seek, sake, sook, sook, suck, lock, leak, lake, look, look, luck, moss, meese, mace, moss, 
Moose, must. I always use it right here. See, this is must go get. Must go get. That's what you're studying, must go get. Must go get. See, those are just sounds. Mot, meat, me, mot, moot, mut, hawk, heek, hey, hook, hook, huck, toss, peace. Hey, hoss, hoos, hus, mock, meek, make, mook, mook, muck, mon, men, may, mon, moon, mun, hull, hill, hell, hole, hull, hull, knock, neek, nake, nook, nook, nuck, fast, feast, face, Toss, fuss, fuss, jazz, cheese, jays, josh, juice, just, spas, peace, space, force, boo, spa, sla, slee, slay, slow, slew, sla, yeek, yeast, yit, yeech, yun, yuck, jam, fin, got, ma, Kun, hun, hun, bun, loaf, bat, ga, this, ska, hal, hat, hum, jit, loaf, ul, 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 walk, sa, nit, peel, chalk, walk, <laughs> git, foot, yin, ska, bun, sa, sa, Book, lift, hook, dot, shift, tuck. <laughs> All <of> these sounds <laughs> are in a word. And that's what makes this, I think sometimes that's why I look, I, I'm always on these sounds. And sometimes I get, I have to have, sometimes I have to have help spelling. And sometimes to pronounce a word, I break it down. Especially if you look at the Muskogee Bible, I've seen words in there that had 16 letters. And they'll say, how do I pronounce that? And some of these are old words. So what I do is I'll break the sounds down and use this. And I'm able to tell the person what it's saying. Okay. Okay. This is greetings. Greetings. We usually say, uh, it's don't go. Now that's what I use. It's don't go when I meet somebody. But some of them says, yeah. Yeah. and they'll say, he's true. But if you say, it's don't go, they'll say, in him, and you, and if they say, he's Jay, they can say, in him, you know, and they'll say, if they say, it's don't go, that means, how are you? So you say, chinda. It's don't guess, os. That's a response to, it's don't go. You can say, uh, if somebody says, it's don't go, you say, it's don't guess, os. I'm fine. I'm fine. Chihi jayat. He does. Now listen to the tongues. Chihijayat, he does. Chihijayat means, uh, I've seen you, I see you. And he is short for he, means good. Dos, it is, it is good I've seen you. Jimmy, yo, you too. Jimmy is you, yo means too, okay? <laughs> and we use a lot of that, Jimmy, yo, or they'll say, ani yo. Honey is me. So they'll use that. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Dihiji he got for funny. Dihiji he got for funny. We haven't seen each other. And that's true that mundos. Moon is like, um, it is. It is true. It's, it is. So it kind of takes place of that. About doggy. Don't go for la. 
Above Dagi is like the rest of it, the rest of the people, the rest of the family. How's the family or how is the rest? Dongon is short for is Dongon. Fulla. Fulla means are they okay going around? They're okay. Dongon. Fullis. And that part is saying they're around okay. She knocked. Her. She not is yours. How about yours? And we're going to get to that G not. We're going to see where that came from. Okay. Greetings to a visitor. And we always, we don't hardly ask this right here. Um, right here. Have you eaten? We don't ask that. I never ask that. I mean, I don't. Uh, I never ask that question. When somebody comes over, I just start telling them to eat. Or if I've, we've already eaten, I always get something out. I'll just start heating them up right then. And then when I got it ready, I'll say, y'all guys eat. You know, and we in our little town, like I said, I lived from a small town. We had a house full this past last weekend because we had a watermelon festival. Our little town, we had a lot of, lot of watermelons come through there in our lifetime. So, and, um, and of course, I don't even know if this main street is long as a football field, but they have a kitty parade here. They have a kitty parade. So this past year, we didn't get to enter it because we ran out of kitties. <laughs> <laughs> they're growing but last year we entered and of course the older ones got in it even me and my husband walked in it um, to help them but the person that ran it you know they went stale there for about four three four years and then the pandemic hit and that might have been another two years but she said uh, I was going through records and you know they record everything they're kind of like historians in there. And she said, we had been entering it 22 years. And so we had to start with our little girls, our three daughters. And then we started on the grandkids, on our grandkids, on their little kids. And she said, you know, y'all been entering this 22 years? And I said, girl, we're running out of kitties this year. <laughs> so we've been... We've been doing that, and so this long, I imagine the watermelon festival. We're known for watermelons, so we—that's where a lot. If you see a watermelon in Oklahoma, and there's a trailer there, it's from Hannah. Okay, so you say, "Come in," and like I, this is what I was going to say. We had a lot. We had a house full at our house because we just live right outside of town, and they know they can come up there and cool off. So. I said, Ajibus, come in. Ajibus. Then I said, Legibus, Legibus, sit down. Talk Legibus, have a seat. Right here, I went through a lot of not iskida chiajigo. You want something to drink? You want something to drink? And I, in the morning, I said, Coffee, OJ dos. Coffee, coffee. Oh, Jados, I have coffee. I didn't ask them if they had eaten because what we do, which we do a lot, we go to the First Baptist Church at the end of the little street there, and they serve pancake breakfast free. So we all go down there and eat breakfast. <laughs> we go down there and eat breakfast, you know, and I'll say, Salaki Cha, because we go back and then there they come, you know, and I'll say, Salaki Cha, you made it back. I never got to say this, because my daughter and her husband, I think for about three years now, they've been making a concession stand. So they go down there, and in this heat now, it's hot. They went down there, and they were selling food and everything, and my, my door was a revolving door because they bring something, and they cook it, and then they take it back on ice. Then they cook it, they take it back, and they take it back on ice. And it was a constant rotated door this past, last weekend. So I was a dishwasher, so whatever, our finished the cooker. 
I was the finishing cook. Mom, I got this. Can you finish cooking it? Yeah, you know, go on. And so, and you know, they just do this for fun. They don't do it for money because you won't make much, but they do it for fun because they're doing it every year. And the person that runs it will ask them, are y'all going to come back? Are y'all going to make a stand? Are y'all going to make a concession stand? So, and that's the same thing they asked us, you know, are y'all going to be in a parade? And my husband comes up with all these names. You know, one year we had Miss Diamond and her Jubilees, which are diamond watermelons, black diamond and Jubilee watermelons. So she was Miss Diamond and the Jubilees. And then we had the Mill and Ryan band, you know, and they... <laughs> And they're, they're all, he makes up names and that's what our name is when we go in, you know? And the, the Mill and Ryan band had on, uh, they had instruments and they played them and even jugs, they played jugs. So, and we always come out with a ribbon, you know? One year we was a Mill and Ryan band, we come out with first and we were the Miss Diamond and Jubilee, we came out first, which there might be eight <laughs> contestants, nine contestants in there. But you know, we have a lot of fun with this. But I use this, Ajibus, come in. Legibus, sit down. Dog Legibus, this is Legibus means sit down. Sit down. Double legged bus means you got a chair sitting on something and it's set, you got to sit on it. Double legged bus means to sit on it. Do the watermen have seeds? I'm so tired of those cups tasting seedless water. Yeah, they do because they do have seeds and we had yellow meated and red meated. But, um, my kids, when we buy watermelons, we make a game out of it. When all the kids show up, we'll split a watermelon. They do this watermelon spitting contest during that time. And you ought to see them spit those watermelons now. You know, the seeds. We, and they all have seeds, you know, but we made a game out of ours. So, um, you know, they, you know, me and my husband are all about kids. We raised our three. Say almost same way we're raising our grandkids. Our grandkids got a little better. And, you know, and they say that. I mean, we're reminded all the time that our grandkids get a little better, you know. So, okay. Any questions on greetings? Okay. This is buys. There's no buys in the Muscogee language. There isn't. We just say, I will see you. Jihijathis. Here's the tone. G and look at when it's break up, you'll find it. G he ja this. G he ja this. Ha dam. G he ja this. These are all in those sound papers, and this is saying, I will see you again. G he ja this. I will see you. Padam, Chihijathis, I will see you again. Chihijagathis. Look here, here's a sound that's in that sound paper. Chihijagathis, I will see everyone. See this sound, the sounds that you are studying, may, I will see everyone. And that just that put those sounds together made. I will see everyone. Okay, look here. Ha dum d he g ya thes. Look at this d he g ya thes. That sounds put together made. We will see each other again. Again, ha dum is again. Let's see each other again. Hadam is again. Dihijagathis. Look here. Dihijagathis. Those are two and three letter sounds, guys. So you know that our sounds, our language is sounds. And you know how important it is to study those sounds because our language is sounds. 
Okay, let's meet up again. Ha dum. Ha dash dum. D dash but and you don't hear that D in here because your tongue's on top of your palate, but you're not, it's not audible, but you can feel it. Fa cha ga this. D fa cha ga this. Let's meet up again. See how this sound made. Let's meet up again. That's why I stress sounds, guys. Sound is what you gotta have in order to just say, I will see you again. Gigi Jothis. Gigi Jothis. One, two, three, four. Letters in English, one word, but one, two, three, four, four sounds in the Muscogee language. Gigi Jothis, I will see you. Padam, Gigi Jothis. Padam is again, Gigi Jothis, I will see you. See how these are sounds, guys? I stress a lot of sounds in all my classes because we are sounds. And you may not realize, and those real weird sounds that we went over, like awk, eek, ache, they're in there. They're in sounds. They're in a word. They're in our speaking. Okay. Here is what we need to do. And I got... Even more verbs. We're a verb prominent language, okay? We're verb prominent. If somebody asks you what you're doing, you're going to tell them what you're doing. You're using a verb. If they're asking you um, where you're going, you're using a verb. We're verb prominent. But it starts with an infinitive verb. Every and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this easier. I got another paper coming for not tomorrow, but next week. To wake up is ahonijida. Ida means to. To wake up, ahonijida. To wake up. Hombeda, to eat. Anytime, if you go through your papers, you will see so many infinitive verbs that our, you'll know that our language is verb prominent. To work, I do gida. You can hear that, ida. In every one days, a honey jida, to wake up. Home bida, to eat. I do gida, to work. Lay gida, to sit. Das gida, to jump. To run, lit gida. Yagabida, to walk, wegida to quit, ayida to go, wakida to lay down. See how that is all ida? Y'all can hear it. Ida. Anything that ends with ed up, the etv, is an infinitive verb. Okay, but look what you can do with this infinitive verb. Ahoni jazz. You're saying. I am waking up. I am waking up. Ahoni jazz. All you have to do is drop the ed up, the end in here, and add is. But the sound is ahoni jazz. As. As. Anytime you're going to do something, you're doing something, you add that as. Okay? As. Like home bidder. When you say home bidder and you're telling somebody you're eating, at that moment, I'm eating home base. Home base. Hear that? Yes. Home base. Home base. I don't get that to work. I don't guess. So anytime you're doing something, you got to add that as. Home best, I don't guess, to set. Legida, drop the E-D-R, uh, and when you're doing it, you say legas. I am setting. I am setting. 
I am seven. Legis. Daskida. To jump. But when you're jumping, when you say, I'm jumping, you say, Daskis. Daskis. Okay. Litgida. To run. You can turn it into, I am running. Litgis. Litgis. Anytime you're doing something, you got to say, and every one of these you can do. You can do, okay? Any infinitive verb, you can do it. All you got to do is add that AC at the end right here. AC. Yagabida, to walk. And you know, this and I, I walk to the mailbox and I walk back. And sometimes and I'll carry my phone everywhere I go. And they'll say, Nagganis, don't shop. What are you doing? I'll say, you got best. You got best. Because I'm always doing something. Um, I could be driving. Sadokes. Sadokida is to drive. Sadokes is I am driving. Okay. Wegida is to quit. Anytime it's an infinitive verb, you're going to have that too at the beginning in the English to quit. But if you're quitting, you say, Wegas, Wegas, Ayida, to go. And you're always going somewhere, aren't you? I went to Watermelon Festival. I went to town. I went to grocery store. I went home. I went into the living room. I'm going into the bedroom. I'm going into the kitchen. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Walk it up to lay down. To lie down. But if you're doing it, you say, walk yes. Walk it. Do one walk yes. Do one is bed. Do one walk yes. Do one walk yes. I'm laying on the floor. I am laying on floor. Dr. Bun Walkes. See how these are going? Anytime. And you will find a lot of these. Okay. Command. How many times do you make a command? I do that every day with my grandkids. And you know, when you got kids and grandkids, your whole vocabulary is probably commands. <laughs> <laughs> To wake up this morning, my grandkids said, ah, wake me up six o'clock, grandma, wake me up six o'clock, wake me up six o'clock. Well, I did, and they were like, uh. I said, ah, honey, just wake up. Ah, honey, just, I said, wake up, you wake up. Cause ah, honey, jida is to wake up. Ah, honey, just is saying, I am waking up. But when you want somebody else to wake up, you say, ahone just, ahone just. That's wake up. You wake up. You do it. I did it. You do it. And all I did was, um, was uh, a groan, you know. And I said, baby, baby, ahone just. And he was like, uh, uh, uh. And that, I went from one bedroom to the other, waking them up, you know, because um, they had to go to school. Okay, here we go. Home bus. How many times do I say that? Home bus. Home bed is to eat. Home bus is I am eating. Home bus means eat. Yeah, I don't saw it. Huh? Oh, I'm luckless. <laughs> okay. How many? This is our passion right here. Home bidder to eat. We like to eat home bidder. But when I'm eating, which I like to do, I'll say home best, home best. But when you're telling somebody else, I did a lot of this this past weekend. Home bus. Home bus. Eat. You do it. You come and eat. Home bus. Adorkida. How many goes to work? I do. Adorkida. 
But if I'm working, I say, I don't guess. And that can mean anything. It don't have to be a job. You can say, Victor, I don't guess. Victor is outside. I'm working inside, outside. Often, I don't guess. I'm working inside. Often means inside of something, okay? But if I tell them, that, give them a command, you eat, I say, humbus. But if I tell my little grandson, I don't guess, that could mean he could he needs to work on the, uh, his homework. He could be outside with me and I'd be telling him, go to work. And sometimes I play with him. I say, I don't guess. And he'll just grin at me because he knows I'm teasing him. But then pay that homework is a different story. I'll say, I don't guess. And he's like, He'll just look at me and just sit there and put his head down with his pencil in his hand. He ain't doing that. <laughs> He's not doing that. Look here. Legida is to sit. Legus, I am sitting. But if I tell him to sit, I'll say legus. And I can make that. Nice, or a little bit stern. I can say Lagos, but I can say Lagos, see? Or I can add leggy bus, leggy bus, and say, you sit down, can you sit down? Das is, das is, I am jumping. Amy, das is. Okay, lit get up is to run. Lead guess, I am running. Soar, lit gus. Lit gus. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, to walk is your governor. Your gob is, I am walking. Jason, your gob is. I'm telling my student in here, you walk. Okay. If I say wag it up, quit. I'll say wag is. I quit. I am quitting. But if I say Amy Wagus, what are you doing? Quit. And that's a big word of mine right here because I'm telling my grip, especially my grandson, Wagus, Wagus. And the kid, the girls will come in there, Grandma, Bubba is doing this. And I'll say, Bubba, wag us. You know, I'm always saying, wag us. Okay. Ayida, to go. But if I'm going, I'll say, ah, yes. Dalofan, ah, yes. Abungan, ah, yes. I'm going to a dance. Tomorrow I'm going to a dance. My where my grandpa was chief at, I'm going, they're gonna have their green corn. So that's where I'm going tomorrow evening. Okay. Funga, ah yes. And then this is another one. Ah yes. You know, we be in a grocery store, Walmart, and my grandkids will make a sudden stop. And I'm right, I'm on them. So I'll say, ah yes. I'll be patting them on the shoulder in the back. Ah yes, ah yes, go, go. See. That's saying, go, you do something. Walk it up to lay down. I'll say, walk this, walk this, I am laying down. But this is another one I use, walk us. I'll say, walk us, go lay down. And you know, if my husband, me and my husband's been gone a while, we'll come back, we'll have three munchkins, we call them munchkins. Three bears in our bed. When we get back, <laughs> we have three little bears in our bed and they be all lined up. And I know they're in our bed because <laughs> I won't see them. I said, they're in our bed. We'll have three bears in our bed. And that's those grandkids. They'll, they'll all lay in our beds. Any questions on these verbs? Uh, we're just kind of going back over because I think y'all need, it's a verb prominent language. We're always doing something. Always. Always. If you go through your dictionary, 
you will see so many infinitive verbs. So many. And break your sounds up. This is, a, I was just helping somebody earlier to break their sounds up. And that's one way of enunciating. Look here. Ah, ho, ni, ji, da. Ah, dash, ho, dash, ni, dash, ji, dash, da. Ah, ho, ni, ji, da. Just break it up. Hom, bi, da. E O me dash B E dash T A dash Om B da. See how that broke up into sounds? Just breaking them up. And that's the only thing it takes to be um, um you know if I ask Thor, Noggin Stoncha, what are you doing? Uh. Um, are you, are you got, uh, Chiaja? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, uh, okay. Um, Choka, Oban, Obanaga Choka, uh, Ohonayas. There you go. He said, I'm reading the book. Ohonayas, Ohonayida is saying to read. Ohonayas is I am reading. Okay. But if we said man, I would say Ohonayas. Okay, Nagin Stone saw Amy. Mujinita Homes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> She said she's eating today. <laughs> Jason, 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 Nagan is Tuncha. I don't care. I don't care. He's saying I'm I'm working, you know. But the infinitive verb to work is I don't care. And it can mean anything, okay? Anything that you like yard work, garden work, uh, working at a computer, coming to work, okay? That is you working. Anytime you are doing something that's considered work, you're working. I do guess, okay? Anytime you're reading, reading a book, reading a poem, reading a newspaper, reading a wall. I like to look at train graffiti. I'm into trains with graffiti on. I love those. So I'll say, oh, no, I guess. Mikilika, oh, no, I guess. I am reading the trains, you know. So anything you can read is oh, oh nah, yes, I am reading, okay? Any of them, home best. Amy, you can say, just to leave home best, I'm eating a watermelon, a vishwa, home best, I'm eating meat. Uh, not lani, home best. Knock is something, and lani means green. We don't have a word for um, like a um, salad. So we'll say not lani home best. Okay, not lani. You're eating something green. Okay, you can do anything right here. Add a word to what you're doing here and making it you're doing it. Okay. So anytime. You want to put these two together. You're telling somebody you just made a, a statement. Telling somebody, Halloween, das guess, I am jumping high. Buffnin, leap guess, I'm running fast. Buffnin, ya galbes, you're walking fast. Way guess, I don't get a way guess, I'm quitting work. Um, wake ass. <laughs> what else? <laughs> um, PG Mokeska, wake ass. I'm stopping smoking. Uh, home bit up, wake ass. I'm just stopping to eat. See, this is how you can use these infinitive verbs. Look how many things that you do. Don't open, I guess. Bongan, I guess. 
I look and I just that's saying I'm going swimming, I'm going to the dance, I'm going, I'm going here, watermelon festival. Ah, yes, I'm going to the walk. See, this is all you do is add some. You don't exactly have to, you know, and that says the whole thing right there. You don't have, you don't have to add nothing to this. You can just say, don't know when I yes, I'm going to town. That answers anybody's question to what you're doing. Now we can go talk. Not even that's all it is guys that's all it is and any questions on this and i'm gonna go back i'm adding to this too for second third past present okay but this is what we need to know no right now is infinity what you're doing and making them command the next one on verbs is going to be present past and future one two and three First part, what you're doing, what they're doing, what they're, they did, okay? That's what we're going to do because that's a big part of it, okay? Mahaya, uh -huh. um, for naklani, for salad, do, would you also use naklani for greens? Like yeah. cooked greens? Yeah. Mado, I like those. <laughs> Mado. You know, like naklani, when we said that that was for a situation environment come in. But, you know, we didn't have a word for mustard greens. And my grandma used to call it musta, musta, <laughs> musta, you know, and turnips. We didn't have a word for turnip green, so we called it danopshi. Instead of turnip, it's creeklish, danopshi, danopshi. Cabbage, we did. But that was description. This It was descriptive. We say, uh, she doubtful. She doubtful. And she is short for ishi, like the like the, the leaves, the wishy. Is she doubtful? And doubtful was changed into dapi, like wide, wide leaves. That's all she doubtful is. <laughs> You know, it, it, and so we didn't have a word for cabbage, but we we had a descriptive word, see doubtful, see doubtful. See is short for isi, like uh, the leaves of it. Doubtful is dabhi, wide. It's saying wide leaves. Something with wide, see doubtful, wide leaves. And tafambi. Dafambi is something that smells. We had a lot of descriptive words that we didn't have, like tomatoes. We don't have a word for tomato. We got domada, domada, domada. Uh, so not lining means something green, you know? Yeah, and that's all it is. And it's a, you know, I guess we didn't have those things, which we were farmers. But I wondered what we farmed. That's something I need to look up, let y'all know. We had to do something, you know, because we were at one time way back farmers. And we own, we grew our own vegetation. So <laughs> um, a lot of these is something that maybe that we took from the Euro Europeans. You know, so any questions on any of these? Madonna. Uh -huh. So a lot of these things are just, um, you know, you have these, these are original words. You know, we don't have nothing that this came from. Well, we got home bus. We made, I'm doing this out of this, home bida, home bida, home base. See, look, I'm eating fruit. <laughs> have to leave the word. Yeah, somebody, uh, Jonathan said, Hadam is very good. Very good. You use that right in the context. But oh, Jonathan, good. So, what you have to do, guys, is use it. 
And you may get confused a little bit and get your words back. That's okay. That's okay. Because you'll get across. You'll come across. I would understand, like, um, even misspellings. I can just about tell what they are. You know, I can just about tell. And that's okay to be like that. Because that's what it takes, you know. Don't be afraid. That's how I come tell you. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid to make that. I make them. Y'all seen my mistakes. Not good. But, you know, Jay, not to mess anybody up, but when you say home bag, home bag, home bags, home bag yunks, I mean, it's probably like, kind of like maybe a week ago, right? Uh-huh. Home bag yunks. Uh-huh. Not, and not, that's not what I'm going to teach. Not yesterday. <laughs> not, not a while ago, but uh -huh. about a week. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, about a week ago. And that's what I'm going through now. That's what I'm going to teach next because uh, I'm kind of going back over and that will follow this right here because I'm going to do, like I said, we're going to do present, past, future. So say, I'm going to do that. Okay, let's do this. You said, Hombida. Hombida is to eat. But if I say homebayaks, that means I did eat. Maybe last week, two weeks ago. Homebayaks, I will eat. So I can add anything to that, though. I can say present, tato, homebayaks, I'm eating. <laughs> But I can say, Tato Humbayox, I ate fish. But if I say, I'm going to eat fish, I'll say, Tato Humbayox. Humbayox. Okay, so Indian Falls Creek. Mahonan Hoho Poland. I'm such a giant. It's the Jari Muscovy Doa. Muscovy Bonagaman. It's in Mona. Yeah. I know who they are. They're the two uh, that would come to my house during the pandemic. They're ones that were over there four days a week. That was Jay and Mahi, probably Mahi. Mahi, we call him Mahi because he's so tall, but that's Daryl Jr. He's the one that spent the pandemic probably three or four days a week at my house. He was always, and I heard he did a whole prayer in the Muscogee language. And you know, that makes me proud because, uh, and just like y'all, y'all make me proud because he started out just like you guys did. He started out just like you guys. And then turn around and he's almost fluent. He's almost fluent. And, and how much you put into it. And, and you know, how much, he told me one time, he said, uh, it's right here, how much? And so I'm like, all right, you know, but that's what we're going to go to as far as verb goes. We're going to try to cover as many verbs as we can, because that's what you got to have. OK, you got to have that. So if you say leg it up, you said. First person, this is pre legas, this is present. Legas is a command. But if I do first person right here, legas, and then if I say I was sitting, my dog. We'll see Lega yucks. Lega yucks. It's past. But if I say Lega office, I will be there. And see, I've heard a lot of this Lega office right here. Uh, they'll say Hayatkin um, Lega office. Like if some one of our people died, you know, they'll say Hayatkin. I'll sit here till morning. Lega office. I'll say you tomorrow morning. So if you're talking to somebody present tense, leg office, because it's the future. And that could be just like, I'm going to sit here. If I ask somebody, what are you going to do? They'll say, hey, I'll, get leg office. I'll be here tomorrow morning. You know, so that's future, isn't it? Till morning. So see, that's what you're talking about when they're saying, um, you know, future. But I'm, get, I'm getting those typed up now. I'm typing it up. Uh, today was like a running place <laughs> in our front office, which is there four of us. We were kind of like this, you know, we were like going over here, going over there, doing this, doing that, doing over here. 
and making phone calls and phone work. <laughs> and it was, we kind of sat there and they said, let's take a break. Phone start ringing. <laughs> we kind of had a, it was kind of fun there for a while because we didn't know what we was doing. <laughs> Half of us didn't know what we was doing. And I was trying to work on my other paper to go with this. I never got it done. And then I got an email saying, I need help with this, breaking up this, breaking up that. So I was helping break up uh, words. So it was, it's been kind of hectic today, you know, but the weekend's coming tomorrow's last day and I will see y'all boxing. Boxy swap. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's right. Boxy's tomorrow, okay? I will see y'all boxy and I'll try to get some pictures of our ribbon dances. How many has seen the ribbon dance? I will try to take pictures of my phone or in their regalia and I'll bring it, you know, and see if I can show it to you. And I'm still trying to look for my grandmother and them's pictures. And I, I don't know what I did with them. I know they're in a storage box. I know they're in a plastic container, well protected. I just got to know which box. <laughs> And I can't, I don't have five, I'm a, to a point, half order and half not. I throw things away, but then I keep this, and uh, my husband, and he's, he's worse than I am. He is a worker. I may be half, but he is one. A question, Thor? Okay. So, okay. So, y'all guys, I will box in Jihichigate. Oh, I know. Maro, everybody. <laughs> Mado oh. Mache. Mache. Mado. Um, hi. Uh huh. I'm uh, Obunaga. I'm uh, Ochejia uh, Kitlitska. I know how to read. I mean, to write. No, uh, I'm Onaga. Uh, Chum, uh, Amanaga, uh, Ma Hochejia, um, Chat Ofa. Uh, okay, let me see. I didn't see that. Kitlitsky Daya. I haven't seen it. I didn't see a chat. Let me see. I didn't see it. Oh. Uh, Mojanit, I am mean, Mojanita. Um, mm -hmm. Um, here. Take your time. Okay, here we go. Indian Falls Creek. Is that the one you're talking about? Indian Falls Creek? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Indian Falls Creek. Ofa, Onanwa, Hokolen, Afacha Yanks. You met up with two guys. They were uh, Muscogee Creeks. Muscogee Obonaga. Yeah, I'm reading it. Uh huh. I said Muscogee Obonaga. In Bonaya, you did good. Honanwa Hamgen, are you bosket? You, uh, he was answering. Obidagi Omof in Hojifka, Istijani, Vegas, do what? His name was Vegas? He thought it was. He said, when I was little, I thought my name was, Indian name was Vegas. I can see that because, you know, that, <laughs> I think my grandma, I mean, my grandson might think that her, his name was Vegas, you know, <laughs> and I can see that you wrote good Thor. That was good because I could read it and I knew what you were saying. It's just, it's good. You see what I'm saying? See, you're learning. You're learning. It was. It's better than what you first started off with. Yeah. See here, Fachidos. You don't call get a Maha Eli. Oja Hiyamat is Maha Eli having any classes. No. Are well, you the only one? Uh, no, there's uh, Desiree. She does it online. And Eli might be starting one, but she's going to go back to the schools 
So I don't know if she's going to do one yet. I haven't heard anything yet. So um, I'll find out though. Mom is, uh, uh, oh, oh, sorry. I'm Metlis. Hadam Magus. I'll ask Eli in Bohahi. Eli in Bohahi. I'll ask Eli and I'll tell you. Okay, Hitler, uh, Madame. Uh huh. Right. Well, oh, I know. Madame, oh, I know. I don't do this. Mache, Mado, everybody. Mado. Mado, you get said, I give best. 